Hey everybody, this is Patrick. Some of you know me as Avantes. Um, others of you may know me because I'm with ECMMO Gamers uh, Podcasting Group. Tonight I have picked up 10 booster packs of Hearthstone and I thought I'd open them for you all right now. So let's get started. So Hearthstone's a, the new digital collectible card game from Blizzard. And I have to say, as a former Magic player, that it is really good. So as you see, I was kind of hovering over the cards. You can see this one gives off an aura. So we know that one is a rare. Also, this one is a rare. So it's always good when you get two rares in a pack. So we start here with a Sorcerer's Apprentice, two to cast for a 3-2. And all your spells cost one mana less. So that's actually a pretty good card. The Wisp is a great card because it's, it's basically a free 1-1 one, one creature. You really can't do much better than that. And uh, Blessing of Wisdom. One to cast, choose a minion. Whenever it attacks, draw a card. So that's, that's a good card too. Alright, our first rare out of this pack is Keeper of the Grove. Choose one. Deal two damage or silence a minion. So four to cast for a 2-4 creature that has a very flexible ability so that's to, in my book that's a pretty good creature our other rare is the light warden one to cast for a one two whenever a character is healed the light warden gains plus two attack so this creature could get big if you are say playing this in a priest deck alright moving on to the next pack Alright, common, 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 there's our rare, so, well, I say common, the white signifies, I believe that it's an uncommon, so, three for a Scarlet Crusader, it's a three one with Divine Shield, so as you can see there, Divine Shield means the first time it takes damage, it just ignores it, the Spiteful Smith, five for a four six, and in get Enrage, so whenever it takes damage, it gets a new uh, ability in this case the ability is plus two attack so it become it would then become a six you know whatever however much damage it takes uh, the silver hand knight five for a four four is okay but the fact that it summons an additional two two onto the board helps to give you minion control and the youthful brewmaster two for a three two that when it comes into play returns a minion to your hand so if you've got something on the board that's been hurt or like the silver hand that does something when it comes into play, you can bounce it back to your hand, play it again, and get that ability again. So that's a pretty good, pretty good card. Uh, our rare for this pack is the Demolisher. Three for a one four at the start of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy. Um, so that's that's not bad, except the random part, you never know. I mean, it, at least it's an enemy, so you, no chance that you're going to hit yourself. Alright, next pack. Oh, purple glow means epic! Common or uncommon, common or uncommon, and the rare, so... You've got an Earthen Ring Farseer, 3 for a 3-3 three, three that restores 3 health. That's a great card. Anytime you get a 3-3 three, three for its casting cost and it has an ability, you're doing good. Uh, Thrallmar Farseer, 3 for a 2-3 two, with Wind Fury. Wind Fury means they can attack twice each turn. Uh, the Scarlet Crusader, 3 for a 3-1, has Divine Shield, so again it ignores the first damage it takes. All right, our rare in this pack is the Azure Drake. Five to cast for a 4-4. Four, four. Spell damage plus one, and when he comes into play, you get to draw a card. That's a very good creature, because he's, he's right in that four uh, attack safe zone. So, All right, and our epic is the Big Game Hunter. Three to cast, he's a 4-2. When he comes into play, you get to destroy a minion with an attack of seven or more. So this guy, for three mana, could late game kill a core hound or some other large creature that's on the board. So that's that's a good, good card to have. All right, our next pack. Let's see. There's a rare. All right. 
So we got Eviscerate. Two to deal two damage. That's not bad. Uh, but if you combo it, it deals four damage instead. Uh, Silver Moon Guardian. Four to cast. Three three with Divine Shield. That's good. Argent Squire. One for a one one with Divine Shield. That's a pretty good first turn drop because even if they have a creature that attacks the turn it comes into play, it's going to ignore the first damage it takes anyway. So uh, the South Sea Deckhand. Uh, one for a two one. And it has charge while you have a weapon equipped. So if my champion has his weapon equipped for whatever, then he can attack the turn he comes into play. And our rare for this pack is the Master Swordsmith. Two cast for a 1-3. At the end of your turn, give another random friendly minion plus one attack. So that's that's a good, good creature to have. Alright, next pack. Alright, there's our rare. So we've got another Eviscerate. Uh, Soul of the Forest. Four to cast gives your minions Death Rattle, summon a 2 2 trance. So, what Death Rattle is, is whenever the minion dies, it has an ability. So, in this case, whenever a minion would die, I would get a 2 2 trance in its place. Um, Priestess of a Loon, six to cast. 5-4, and when she comes into play, restore 4 health to your hero. So that's that's pretty good, especially late game if you need the boost to, to if you're racing your opponent. Uh, 1 to cast, naturalize. Destroy a minion. Your opponent draws 2 cards. So again, for 1 mana, you can destroy any minion on the board. The drawback is that it's so powerful your your opponent gets to draw 2 cards. The rare, Gadget Zan Auctioneer. Five to cast for a 4-4. Like we said, it's not bad. But whenever you cast a spell, you get to draw a card. That's huge. I don't care what card game you're playing. Magic, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Hearthstone. Card advantage is key. If you can draw outdraw your opponent, chances are you're going to get the the answers to whatever they have on the board. All right. Five packs to go. Oh, there's another epic. No rare in this pack. Okay, so we've got Flesh Eating Ghoul. A 2-3, whenever a minion dies, gain one attack. A Shield Bearer, one for a 0-4 taunt. So taunt means they must attack that creature before they can attack anything else. Uh, Blessing of Wisdom, whenever a minion, choose a minion whenever it attacks draw a card. I think we had one of those earlier. Inner Rage, zero to cast, deal one damage to a minion, and give it plus two attack. This could be really good on creatures you control that have an enrage ability. So when they take damage, they get another ability. All right, and our epic... Golden Epic. Awesome. So, <clears throat> Golden cards are a little bit better than their regular counterparts. So here we've got a Snake Trap for two to cast. And when one of your minions is attacked, summon three 1-1 one -one snakes. <clears throat> the regular version of this card, I don't know. It probably costs a little more, like three to cast or something like that. But, you know, there's a little bit of an advantage with a Golden all right, pack number six, we have... All right, Spellbreaker, four to cast for a 4-3. When it comes into play, silence a minion. Silence means it removes all card text. So if it had taunt, it would no longer have taunt. If it gave a, all, ally, all minions plus one, plus one, they would no longer get that. So it, it, it removes the abilities. Uh, another Shield Bearer. Circle of Healing, zero to cast. Restore four health to all minions. That is retarded. If you've got, say, you're playing against a mage, and the mage deals damage to all your minions, you could immediately come back and heal everything. It's a great card. Um, eye for an eye. One to cast, 
secret. So secret means it remains hidden until something triggers it. Uh, when your hero takes damage, deal that much damage to the enemy hero. So say they hit you for 11. Immediately, they're going to take 11. So it that's a really nice card, especially for one. And our rare is a wild pyromancer. Two to cast. He's a 3-2. After you cast a spell, he deals one damage to all minions. Now this is your, your minions as well. So if you've got some minions on the board with a higher toughness than your opponent, you may be able to wipe the board with this guy just by casting spells. Alright. Pack number th three to go. So we got an epic, a rare, and a rare. Two rares and an epic in this pack. Wow, this is a good pack. Alright, repentance. One to cast. When your opponent plays a minion, reduce its health to one. So, whatever the next minion they play will immediately come into play with one health, regardless of what it originally was. Explosive Trap, two to cast. When your hero is attacked, deal two damage to all enemies. So, that could wipe the board as well, if they're, they have a bunch of small creatures. Alright, our first rare in this pack. Mind Control Tech, three to cast for a 3-3. Three, three. Like I said earlier, three for a 3-3 three, three is good. But, when this one comes into play, if your opponent has four more minions, you get to take control of one at random. So, it could be a small one, it could be their biggest one, you never know. Our second rare... Oh, SI7 Agent. Again, three for a 3-3, three, three, but he can combo and he deals two additional points of damage. So, that's, that's good. And our epic... The Doomsayer. Two to cast. He's a 0-7. At the start of your turn, destroy all minions. So if your opponent's just out-creaturing you, this guy can even the odds. That's that's pretty awesome. Alright, two packs to go. There's an epic. There's a rare. So we've got Cone of Cold, three to cast, freeze a minion and the minion next to it, and deal one damage to them. That's actually pretty good. When you freeze an opponent, it loses their next attack. So basically they're, they're frozen for one turn, and then they come back into play afterwards. Ice Barrier, three to cast. As soon as your hero is attacked, gain eight armor. So armor basically means... Just what it sounds like. They have to do that much damage to you before you start losing life. The Wind Fury Harpy. I really like the Wind Fury Harpy. Six to cast. Yeah, a little on the expensive side. But she's a four five. And she can attack twice each turn. So if she lives past the turn she comes into play, that's she's good for eight points of damage. I really like her. Alright, the rare is Feral Spirit. This is a shaman card. I know because I play a shaman, but a three to cast, summon two, two, three spirit wolves with taunt and overload. So taunt means the, the wolves have to be attacked before anything else. And overload means you lose two, two mana crystals on your next turn. So say you had five when you cast this next turn, you would only have four because you'd lose two. All right. And our epic... The Pit Lord. Four to cast for a 5-6. Right there, you're already getting more value for your cost. So that makes this an amazing card. But when he comes into play, he does deal five damage to your hero. So there's a little bit of a evening out in, okay, we're going to give you this big creature for cheap, but you're going to have to take damage for it. Alright, and the last pack we've got tonight been some really good packs folks so I mean can't I'm not complaining in the least two rares all right so we've got an earth shock one to cast silence is a minion we talked about that earlier and it deals a point of damage to it storm forged axe this is a shaman weapon two to cast it gives your shaman two attack and it can be used three times however when you cast it 
you lose you have one mana less next turn wow this was a good shaman pack Urshock <laughs> another one that's pretty awesome our first rare Ethereal Arcanist four to cast he's a 3-3 three, three. if you control a secret at the end of your turn he gets plus two plus two so if you cast a secret and then pass the turn he immediately becomes a 5-5 five, five for four mana so that's that's a pretty good card our second rare is a golden rare the ethereal it's another ethereal arcanist so here we can compare the two and I don't see a difference between them interesting I was always under the impression that the golden rares were a little bit different but maybe not interesting folks interesting either way I can use both of those so um, that's my 10 packs for Hearthstone tonight. Uh, next time I buy some packs, I'll do another video. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.